let's go. So sometime last year was the first time most 3D artists were able to lay their hands on Renderman and try it. We did talk about how Renderman performs, especially when you're working with Blender, which was actually released last year. And it's quite interesting to see that we're getting a newer version of Renderman with Renderman Beta slated to be released sometime in September, while the full version of Renderman 25 will be coming at the end of the year. This is made known by Pixar's marketing manager Dylan Sisson at the just concluded SIGGRAPH 2022. Dylan mentioned that some of the features that we are going to be seeing in the coming version of Renderman 25 are improved for faster performance while a new feature which we would all come to love and would always want to work with is also coming. And that new feature is the major feature for Renderman 25. That is the AI Denoiser. The AI Denoiser is the biggest release that will be coming to Renderman 25 and this converges partially sampled images using machine learning. This has been developed by the folks at Disney Research and surprisingly, this has been used in production at Pixar since Toy Story 4. It is also actively in use by the folks at ILM and this simply reduces your render time by a factor of 2 to 4 compared to previous Denoisers that existed in Renderman. So when you get to think about how much time this is going to save you, especially if you have those high quality frames, you begin to see how important the AI denoising technology is. Stylization is also another feature that will be having a huge update in Renderman 25. So many external studios that the folks at Pixar work with actually require lots of stylization in their toolset. And this is why this is having a beef up at this point. Just like you can directly interact with physical base rendering when you're working with elements in real time, artists would also be able to create new looks interactively with this workflow in Renderman 25. Although this stylization feature would not be implemented in the non-commercial version, which is totally free, but it will be available in the commercial version of Renderman 25. And sometime last year, XPU was announced by the folks at Pixar. XPU at the point was given to non-commercial users for free to test and play with and we're getting updates for that as well. XPU is the new next generation renderer that simply works with both CPU and GPU at the same time to get you faster results when rendering. XPU is meant to replace the RIS in the future and for now, XPU is currently not available for non-commercial users. Although Dylan did mention that sometime in the future this might actually change but currently if you're working with a non-commercial version you would be able to work with Llama for shading and material creation and RIS. Dylan also revealed that the technologies like Omniverse and USD are the guiding direction that Pixar is going with and for anyone who would like to try out Renderman, you can actually take a look at Renderman 24.4 which is currently available for Windows, Mac and Linux and as well there is integration for Maya, Houdini, Katana and also Blender. And of course if you like to explore with this or probably want to get started, we already made a video about Renderman and how you can get started with it when using Blender. Renderman 25 is coming with some amazing features and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Tell me what you guys think about this one and if you like the video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.